was quite down on the idea of coming to the Radio 3 Rethinking Festival. It all just seemed a little bit vague, the idea that people would be standing around and talking and debating and delivering lectures and that kind of thing. But I came up here to Liverpool to fact the... Um, actually, the Foundation of Art and Creative Technology, the Foundation of Art and Creative Technology. I mean, to be honest, I haven't really done any research. The man from Radio 3 said, you don't need to do any research, we don't want you to do any, just come along, be open-minded. There are 30 events to choose from, 30 events to choose from. Um, exams prove nothing. Uh, rhetoric in a prosaic age. I don't know what that means. I have genuinely been quite worried about it. I was quite down on it but to begin with, sort of like three or four weeks ago, when I when I knew that I was coming. Now am I going to feel really out of place? I, I have been I have been a little bit anxious. But what is free thinking? But how is free thinking different from normal thinking? I'm a bit bemused about that. It's a really nice building. It's a really nice building. When you walk in here, it's modern, it's, it's, a, it's quite funky, really. Now, this will sound really, really bizarre, but one thing that really excites me is that the writing on the board, the writing on the blackboard, makes me feel like I've gone some kind of trendy cafe where they sell really healthy samples, like an organic cafe type thing. It's not really corporate, it's not a massive event, it's just a really nice, relaxed atmosphere. Just, it's got a nice buzz about it. Basically, people have got uh, tickets to events, a whole variety of events throughout the weekend. Uh, they just queue up to, to go into various typical venues. There's a, there's a cinema in there with lots of comfy sofas. And you sit there and you listen to the people that uh, are, are coming up with their ideas. There'll be artists, scientists, great thinkers, poets. You don't have to arrive at bang on the beginning of the event. Here, they say they start up at past two, but sometimes they wait until 22, which is great for me, because I've got a bit of a thing with the timing. Lots of famous people. This man here, this man here, that's Ian McMillan. There he is. Lovely shirt. Lovely shirt. He did a thing about pies on Radio 4. I'm terribly excited. So here we are, here we are. This, this is like human interaction board. Uh, loads of post-it notes, people have just left what their thoughts are about a particular topic. But this year's theme is, whatever happened to childhood? Well, it's quite an easy subject, really, because we've all been children. Uh, I attended an event. Lots of people, lots of people in there. Uh, there was a panel of people representing various different groups who had some kind of focus on, on childhood. I found myself disagreeing violently with most of the people on the panel and it is quite exciting. They're only hour long sessions, it doesn't go on for very long. And, and as the event went on, lots of other people sort of started putting their hand up and sort of participating in the debate. That's the wonderful thing about it, that actually, like I say, you can't, you don't have to come here with PhD. You so don't need any qualifications in order to have an opinion. That's the point of it. There isn't really very much of an opportunity to do that nowadays. To actually make the effort and come to one of these things and listen to people's opinions and then sort of think about one's own response, whether it be written or actually in a session. That's, um, that's a good thing, I think. <laughs> So, look, he's turned around. It's Ian McMillan. Ian, what are you doing here? I'm the uh, interlocutor of this Speed Dating with a Thinker event. I call it Speed Thinking. The idea that you thought was best was to give that thinker a brain. At the end, whoever's got the most brains wins. Just like life. It's a fantastic thing. I think it mirrors what the early universities were about and maybe what it would have been like in great times like the Renaissance or something because you've got, you've got ten thinkers you've all got one big idea, the one positive you've got ten thinkees and the thinkers, it's opposite the thinkee and I hope the hoopers oh, sorry, no, that wasn't that. Sorry, <laughs> so the general idea is that the people are just sitting around and they move, they move to the right or the left or wherever it is and they're, they're, they're sort of expressing their thoughts they're expressing their big idea um, and they have three minutes to do that and they move on the amount of 
debate, discussion, excitement, linguistic fervour that we see there is utterly astonishing. I've got to say, now that I'm witnessing it, uh, lots of people have been getting excited about it, but to witness it, there's no way I could do that. I'd be petrified. Absolutely exhausted, really, really exhausted. I've been thinking all weekend. Just come out of a half hour chat with two total strangers with part of the whole philosophies in pubs thing. <laughs> Talked about loads of different things, really friendly people, and it was just nice to chat. What, was the, what did you do on the I read, I read a poem that I've written. Well, actually, this you read your a bit last minute. I'm a poet. But you read your own work I on the oh, radio. Yeah. That's, That's scary. And I've never been... It's nice to chat about everything and nothing, and to know that everybody else around us was, was doing the same. I think that's what free thinking is about. I think it's about giving, giving yourself the opportunity to have a bit of a think about things that you wouldn't otherwise think about. Take yourself out of your comfort zone and think about something completely different. Not in a scary way, nobody's sort of coming after you with a big stick and going, Whoa! It's more about just giving yourself the opportunity, giving yourself the space to think about things. And the truth is that after a couple of days of this, I'm actually quite sad that it's all coming to an end. <laughs>